Transformers Prime has been one of my favorite toy lines and cartoon series to come out of Transformers in years. It has made some really good toys, uh, some kind of bad toys, um, but with a rockin' TV show and a great cast of characters, some amazing toys that are coming out in both Japan and America, I feel that it's time that enough time has passed to do for what I believe is the top five best Transformers Prime figures so far. Now I know this may bring up some controversy among uh, some of my subscribers, but it was a kind of a tough call be for the number five spot uh, between this guy and first edition Starscream and I ultimately went with this guy Dreadwing because I feel that in the long run he is a lot more satisfying of a figure. Uh, the bulk is there, the massiveness is there, the transformation is a little bit more unique. Uh, in the undercarriage and jet mode this just seems more fitting. Uh, the, I like the character more and it's just a little bit more imagination has been put into this toy than the first edition Scar Starscream. Now, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that, but hey, this is my personal top five. And for me, Dreadwing just barely nudges out Starscream. Starscream is a great figure and all, but overall, Dreadwing is still superior in my opinion. Cliffjumper is my favorite, absolutely favorite deluxe class from the Transformers Prime toy line. Uh, just because the vehicle mode is spot on perfect. The transformation is so fun and satisfying. It has this very uh, unique complex quirks and the, it leads for a very cool looking robot mode with a very cool looking head. And the fact that it's voiced by, at least in the first episode, by The Rock. Who, um, I forget, it, it, he wasn't actually voiced by him in his flashback, but... Um, it, the first edition mode of Cliff Jumper has been highly sought after. Being repainted, remolded several times already so far just because of its uh, awesome nature. And with the first edition line being re-released... Or released for the first time officially in the uh, US, will many people get the chance to own a first edition Cliff Jumper mold? The first edition bulkhead figure is, with, with for lack of a better term, a masterpiece. The truck mode is surprisingly small and compact. The transformation is super, super unique, leaving for a really massive, really uh, typical bulky uh, robot mode and just parts of the vehicle mode just wrap around from the front to the side to the back leaving for a very unique look and for what has been a very popular character in the Prime line and what has left kind of a bitter taste in some people's mouths with, with the Prime uh, Robots in Disguise Voyager figure uh, has made the first edition a really uh, sought after figure and just really one of the best figures in the entire Prime lineup. Oh man, the controversy behind this figure. Uh, my number two favorite uh, Transformers Prime figure is the Japanese exclusive Arms Micron War Breakdown. It was kind of tossed around for a long time whether or not this was going to be a Japanese or American. Uh, and it was later revealed that this was solely uh, developed by Takara Tomi. It would never see release in the US due to budgeting. And that has made this an extremely, extremely sought after uh, figure. And with it, the character's demise in the show has made it even more uh, popular. And just the overall design has a really nice truck mode. The transformation is also equally fun, but the robot mode is exactly where it's at. With the nice red face, yellow painted eyes, shiny uh, blue paint throughout the whole figure. Just 
a really, really satisfying figure. The best post first edition Transformers Prime figure, in my opinion. Now, I don't think it's any kind of surprise that for my number one choice, I picked the first edition Voyager class Optimus Prime figure. How much I looked forward to this figure, I could not explain. Uh, and when the first edition line, Voyager and later Wave 1 Deluxes were canceled, canceled in the US, my heart practically broke and I was very desperate. I was able to get a couple of them uh, from Canada imported to me and it is absolutely worth it. The truck mode is spot on accurate. The transformation is simple but fun and very satisfying, satisfying but leaving for a god awesome looking robot mode. It just screams Optimus Prime here with its very V-shaped torso making make him look like a lean mean just warbot machine. This is the must-have figure for Transformers Prime. And that concludes my top five figures from home.